this video, we're going to be looking at how you can execute a VBA macro uh, in Excel uh, based upon a change event that occurs just as you save the file. So what will happen is as you click the Save button, it will identify that the button has been clicked, but before it saves the file, it will execute this line of code. So obviously, anything that's executed in this code, whether it's like changing values in the sheet, they will be included when the file is saved. So to jump straight in, we'll go, or well, I say, we'll jump straight in and start doing the code. If you've seen our previous videos looking at change events, uh, some of this code will seem familiar to you, um, but obviously there are going to be some changes to make it be specific to this particular event. But as I say, let's jump straight in. And we're going to be coding this into the this workbook uh, sheet. So there's a bit to type in this first part, so like, please bear with me, but if you copy this, you'll obviously have what you need. So private sub workbook underscore before save. So as with previous videos when we've been looking at this as well, it does seem quite self-explanatory. Obviously you might not know exactly what to write, but hopefully just this line or this first bit here of workbook before save sounds quite logical so it's easier to remember what you need to use in the future. If you want to execute this just before this file is saved, before save is quite a good uh, descriptive term for what I'm using in here. By val and then save as UI should all be one word as boolean cancel as boolean and as I said before you don't need to concern yourself too much about obviously what this is saying in here um, cancel obviously it might help if I type it in right so cancel and this one we need to be save as UI. So there you go. It doesn't matter too much about obviously what the detail is saying about making this video more complex than it needs to be, but this is this is the code or the lines of code you need to be able to execute code based on obviously an event before the file is saved. So all I'm going to do is just change the value in cell A1. So we refer to that by going sheets in brackets sheet one dot range, and that's going to be A1 dot value equals and I'm going to say goodbye and environ open brackets username and uh, let's do one of those so again as you've seen in the previous videos we've used this line of code in our examples basically all it's going to do is extract the username of the user um, accessing the file and it'll just say goodbye to the username uh, with an exclamation mark at the end. It's going to populate this into cell A1. So all we need to do to execute this is if you push the save button, you can see that that has been included into the file for us. Um, and it's as simple as that. Obviously the real benefit of using this, you could maybe use this in tandem with the close event we previously done, but it's a really good beneficial way, maybe even if you want to try and track changes, what's happening in your workbook. So every time someone saves the file, you might want to uh, obviously obtain the username that's made that save and you can start creating a log of those usernames and the timestamp so that you have full traceability of everyone who has saved that file. So this is a really beneficial one uh, as I said. We've looked at other ones so open, change during uh, having the sheet open and even a chain or executing a change based on when the worksheet is closed. But using this save one as I say can be very beneficial because it allows you to actually track changes every time a workbook is saved. Um, and from previous experience, I have used that myself to help build out a change log. So every time someone saves this file, uh, you can obviously one, document uh, that the change has been made and who made it. But alternatively as well, you can also track the people who are actively contributing to the file. So if you're trying to get people to update something and they all say they are, they are updating it, by tracking obviously everyone who goes in here when they say you can have that document to say actually I know these people have and these people haven't. So just to give you one example, but I'm sure you'll find many other examples or benefits of using this line of code in your Excel work. So if you enjoyed that video and it gave you the answer to a question you may be searching for, please do give the video a like and it'll be greatly appreciated by myself. If you have any questions about this or any other Excel related questions, please just drop myself a comment below the video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.